Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about how best to secure your camper van and we're going to be featuring this. It's the Eufy Cam S330 as well as a load of other great hints and tips. So one of the questions we get asked a lot, and it's got to be in the top three of everything that we're ever asked on the channel, is about how best to secure your fantastic new camper van. Now this isn't really Cali specific, it can uh, be for any camper van, I don't think there's anything in our list which feels Cali specific. Uh, so if you've got a motorhome or you've got an expensive car or you've got uh, a uh, California or a uh, Volkswagen Transporter or any other type of camper van, these might help you secure it. So. We've kind of had a bit of a think about all the different options in terms of some of the physical stuff you can do, some of the preventative stuff, uh, some of the things you can have fitted to your van, some of the things you might want to have on your house. And one of the key things um, that we wanted to talk about first of all is having good security watching over your van. Uh, now that could be a tracker installed on your van, uh, that's uh, one option, and they've actually come down in price quite a lot. Um, we're not going to talk specifically about all of the different things we've got fitted to our van. I don't think it's really right on the channel. But we'll put a few links in the description below to uh, some good websites which uh, we're not affiliated with or anything like that, but just ones that we found good uh, range of products. Uh, certainly there's a good range of trackers on one of the websites and they range from a couple of hundred pounds installed do have a monthly fee, just a small monthly fee, but that allows you to be tracked, uh, the van to be tracked if it uh, uh, obviously isn't where it should be. Uh, it certainly helps the police get it back and uh, let's be honest, quite often uh, thieves of vans are stealing them to order, they might want them for parts and actually they might take them, move them, park them up somewhere, see if they've got a tracker and then they'll, they'll move them on after that and actually if you can get them back and if they're stolen to order they're generally quite careful with them because they don't want them to be damaged for when they're selling them on so good idea to have a tracker. The second uh, key point is looking at the alarm system of the van because if you've got something which is factory built it might have a good alarm on it if it's built from a base van it might be something that was overlooked as part of the build so uh, just have a look and see whether you've got an alarm and an immobiliser uh, because immobilisers are important again. Think about the ghost immobiliser. Um, if you want something really sophisticated, that's a special system that gets fitted into your van which means that you have a personally set key set keystrokes in the van and that, that's better to unlock it so that's uh, unimmobilise it. So that could be you know, a certain number of keys on the steering wheel or buttons on the dashboard or it could be you know, a good combination that only you know uh, and then that will unlock the uh, the immobiliser. Again, I, obviously can be hidden completely in the van, really good option, quite expensive, um, but actually very effective and this gets some really good feedback uh, from the different Facebook groups and from the different forums and things where people have had them fitted, they feel really happy with them. So definitely worth a check uh, on factory fit alarm and immobiliser options. Let's talk about home security and specifically things which might be able to watch over your van and let you know if something's awry. And I'm talking about home security cameras. Now, uh, we're lucky enough to have been sent this Eufy security system. It's brand new. This is the Eufy Cam S330. Uh, it's a kit uh, and it's quite special actually. And that's why we wanted to talk about it on the channel because Actually, some of the features it's got could be really helpful, I think, in making sure that your camper van, your motorhome is well protected. So a few of the key things with this Eufy Cam system uh, are that it's actually the cameras. So this kit is a two part kit, so it's got two cameras and it also has a little uh, kind of central controller uh, that you put in the house and connect to your router. One of the key things with this uh, specific kit is the fact that it doesn't automatically send anything to the cloud, so it stores it itself. Uh, the little central unit, so uh, this box that you can see on the uh, on the main um, package there, is a little box which you can put a hard drive in, a little two and a half inch hard drive, um, and then it will store your footage on that. So instead of it going off to the cloud, you have to pay a monthly fee and all of that kind of stuff, subscription and everything, this doesn't have a subscription. It stores everything on itself. Uh, now, some people might say that's an advantage. I definitely think it's an advantage because it means that 
A, you're not having to pay a monthly fee all the time uh, just to upload footage. It keeps uh, your internet usage down as well because it's not having to stream a load of data elsewhere. And it means that you can have the amount of storage which you want. So you can back it up, you can replace the drive. If you've got things that um, you want to keep, you can obviously take them off the drive, you can swap the drive out. It's uh, really all in your control, which is a, a really nice thing to have. Secondly with these cameras it's probably the practicality of the install of them so they've got a little solar panel on the top you can see that this camera here um, it's got a solar panel on the top so you when you first install these you charge them up with USB and uh, it's got a USB-C socket on the back of each camera you charge them up um, and then you put them outside and they say that with two hours of daylight um, you should be able to keep these cameras maintained throughout the year without ever plugging them in again so they've got always on power basically because of that solar panel um, obviously I haven't had them for a year I can't tell you whether that's true or not but so far since I've had these installed at home it hasn't stopped being at a hundred percent um, so the battery when you log into the app it tells you the battery level of each of the cameras uh, it hasn't uh, dipped from 100% since I've installed them. It does tell you as well each day how much power has been generated by the solar panel uh, on, the, uh, on the unit and it gives you a bit of history as well about how much power has been consumed over the period of time, uh, 7 days, 30 days etc. So you can see whether it's fluctuating up or down. So if you've had a few rainy days it might dip down a little bit, if you've had a few sunny days it might go back up. So it will swing in roundabouts and obviously we're heading into winter now as well so uh, we've got that to take into account too. As you can see, uh, 4K quality, um, which allows you to zoom in on the pictures as well, which is really handy because if you've got someone who's been sniffing around your van or there's something which you don't think is quite right, um, being able to do that from the app on your phone, uh, click on the image, use pinch and zoom just like you would anything else to zoom in. You can zoom in, I think it's eight times into the picture so you can get that detail. Uh, and actually, when I've, when I've looked at the pictures, they are stunningly good. Um, so no problem reading number plates, no problem looking at detail from people whatsoever. Very, very good quality indeed. Probably the last thing to say about these Eufy cameras as well is the fact that they've got facial recognition, um, which is really clever actually, because it's all built into that central little box there. Uh, and what that does, when you install the app on your phone, you can um, let it have a photo of yourself or you can take a selfie. Um, you can upload photos of your family members, friends, etc. Um, and it will then know that it kind of that's their face. So if a camera spots them, it will tell you on the notifications that it's them. Um, so it uh, does it through AI and obviously it, it, it learns over a period of time. And uh, it's just quite helpful because instead of having to get your phone out whenever there's a, like an alert saying that somebody's been spotted, Actually, if it says that I've been spotted or Sarah's been spotted or whatever, you know that that's true. That's um, because it knows those faces. If it says, you know, a person has been spotted, then clearly you might want to have a look because it's not someone that's already in the system. It can also do that. It can recognize people. It can recognize animals. It can so pets effectively, and it can recognize cars as well. Um, in terms of how you kind of tell it those things it's just the people which you give photos to so it recognizes them it's nice to be able to make that distinction of a car has driven up your driveway versus you know a neighbor's cat which has walked across it for example because different things mean you might react in different ways so definitely uh, a good plus for it there too Everything you might need to get started with this is in the box. So you get a couple of mounting brackets. Uh, the unit itself has got a bit of internal storage. If you want to add more to it, you can do. It's expandable, so just buy that two and a half inch drive, mount it in. It comes with all the screws to be able to do that. And then it can give you a nice big amount of storage. We put a one terabyte drive in ours uh, and it seems to work fantastically. You format it in the app and off you go. Um, so that works really well. Uh, like I say, everything comes with it. It's dead easy to uh, to set up and install. You simply connect the uh, the unit to your home router. Uh, it generates its own signals from there. It doesn't work on your own home Wi-Fi or anything like that. It talks to it directly. Um, then you uh, power up a camera, uh, charge the camera up, and make sure that uh, with the app installed, you connect it to you connect the app to the central unit. Uh, you tell it that you're going to add a camera, you press and hold the button on the back of the camera to get it to synchronise. Uh, you hold it near the central unit, 
they all start talking to one another and then Bob's your uncle, everything's working. So really nice and easy and straightforward. Obviously the app gives you notifications to your phone when there's movement detected. They've also got LED lights on as well. So if you want to have night vision with color, uh, you can get it to uh, to switch the LED on as well, a bit like a PIR light. Um, it's 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 bright. I wouldn't say it's the equivalent to a security floodlight, but it's certainly enough to give you a decent colour picture uh, from the camera at night if it's watching over your van. So definitely, uh, definitely a plus um, in that regard. So if you're interested in any more detail about these cameras, I'll put the link in the description below. Uh, do check them out. We think they are fantastic. They've got fantastic picture quality. Uh, the setup and install was dead straightforward. It just worked. And we really like that ability to not have to pay any monthly subscription uh, to be able to use these and have the footage recorded in the house in our grasp. Um, so yeah, really, uh, really like these. So in terms of the easy things that you can do with the van, uh, just to protect it, obviously you can have a visual deterrent and steering wheel lock like this stop lock. Uh, it's dead easy to install, easy to carry in the van. They do an even sturdier version called a disc lock, uh, which is effectively like a big clamshell and it goes around the wheel, clamps at the bottom or the top uh, and uh, stops anyone taking the wheel off or anything like that. And, uh, it's a bit, a bit of a hardier version than this uh, yellow one that we've got here. So that is an option, you could use that. A bit more tricky to store that though, the disc locks, they're pretty big and pretty bulky. Uh, another quick tip is turning the seats round. Uh, so if you're parking your van up for any period of time and you just want to give a bit more of a visual deterrent to any kind of, you know, casual passing thief, anything like that, turn the driver's seat round and turn the passenger seat round. If you've got a Cali, you know how difficult that is already. Um, so if you aren't an expert in uh, how they turn round, it can take some time. No thief wants to be spending extra time turning seats round to be able to have a way with your pride and joy so make sure you turn the seats around that does help a little bit just in terms of an easy deterrent too now I'm sure you've seen in quite a few of our videos in the past that we've got a gate well we're lucky because we've got a driveway that we can park our California on and we can close our gate what we tend to do is we tend to put the Cali on the drive, we tend to close the gate, we lock the gate, we then move the Cali forward so the gate wouldn't be able to physically open without reversing the Cali because all of that stuff just adds extra time and that's really important. So anything that you do, you've got to try and deter thieves because you're going to make it difficult for them. So they just walk on by and then uh, don't bother with yours basically. So you, I know that sounds a bit harsh in terms of getting them to move on and have a look at somebody else's, but this is about protecting your property and your investment, your, your pride and joy as we said. So try and make it difficult for them. The other way that you can do this, and my parents used to live in a house which had a driveway you could do this, was have a post in the driveway. So sink a post you can buy security metal posts which sink into the driveway they lock when they're out you can put them down and again put one of those in front of the van so it physically can't be driven away and that's another great deterrent uh, from anyone who drives past sees that you've got that actually they might just not bother and they'll move on so definitely worth thinking about so as a quick final tip what we'd suggest is thinking about your wheels because you could really do with one of these a spare safe if you've got a spare wheel underneath your van which we do you probably want to get one of these spare safes because normally when Volkswagen supply these on a transporter this is transporter specific uh, there is no security bolt on that so uh, people just take them off and take your spare wheel which is not very helpful it does help if you've lowered your van because it makes it more difficult to get the spare wheel out uh, and you can see we've this they do come in red normally we've uh, painted ours black and it's now going rusty so we're gonna have to do that again uh, but um, these are definitely well worth it because it does stop somebody from stealing a spare wheel while we're talking about it also worthwhile just making sure that you've got locking wheel nuts I know they split opinion because they can be problematic if you try to get them off if you don't take them off regularly and things but I still think on the balance of everything they're probably still worth having so definitely worth just double checking your van's got locking wheel nuts because nobody wants their alloys nicking either. So hopefully that's a really good rundown of all of the little security hints and tips for looking after and keeping hold of your pride and joy, uh, your camper van, your motorhome, uh, your prestige car, however you're watching this channel uh, and watching this video. So 
yeah, we hope that's helpful for you. If you've got other tips that you want to share, anything which you've discovered which you think is a really good product or uh, any other tips on practical things that you can do, please let us know in the comments below. It does help all of the people who watch this video because they look at the comments too and we all learn together. That's how these things work. So yeah, please do that. Please comment below. Please subscribe to the channel if you find our content helpful and interesting and we'll see you all again soon. Thanks for watching. Thank you.